Hey everyone, in this episode we'll be painting a landscape environment from scratch, we'll also look at how to create quick and efficient thumbnail sketches. My name is Victor, I'm a concept artist and I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and find it helpful, so let's get started! Alright, so when we work on these thumbnail composition sketches, we're starting really loose. I'm grabbing a few brushes and most of all I use the basic round brush, you can find it in any painting software, and I proceed to lay out the main planes. At this step, you want to get a simple graphical grid. You can play around with your shapes, experiment with various proportions and so on. I'm also already trying to describe the lighting in the scene and a little bit of form. But most importantly is that at this stage, you just want to generate new ideas. The sketch doesn't have to be super neat. As long as it helps you visualize your environment on paper, then it's all good. Make sure you get a good feel for the values and everything is readable. As a last touch, I'm placing some figures in the foreground for scale and story purposes. After you've picked your favorite sketch, we can proceed with the next steps. Now I'm setting aside the thumbnail quick sketch that we did in the beginning and I will use it as a guide. From here on, you can either create a new line work sketch, for example, a bit more accurate, one with more defined features, or you can just trace it even on top of your black and white sketch, right? I'm trying to make a bit more sense of the main structure. I'm making sure that I keep in mind where the horizon is, so I'm, you know, making those ellipses accurate, like that's because the camera is looking up at them. And I'm mostly thinking about composition right now. Again, it doesn't have to be super precise, because during the painting process, you can still adjust and change things at any time. While I'm putting down some lines in the foreground, I'm also thinking how to manage and address that vegetation and all the ground. Cool, so now that you have a rough sketch, we can try and figure out the mood. Start thinking about lighting. I usually begin by figuring out the sky, uh, like hue, value, and this is also the easiest, right? So don't forget to use reference images here. It's very important. It will help you solve all your color questions, light questions, like if you have any doubts about material or how to depict it, if you use a reference images, if you have a master reference image, right, that, like, like a guide that's more important for you, that's really great. Now at this stage, don't worry too much about form. Uh, for now, I'm just filling all the main shapes with flat color, trying to figure out the local color and seeing if the values work. Don't forget, you have your comp sketch from, from earlier that you can use as a guide. Now, another thing I wanted to mention is that for these sketches I do, I usually use the most basic tool. Just brushwork mainly and a few adjustment sliders when I need them. Once you have everything blocked out, you can slowly describe some of the elements by working on the form and developing those values. I started with the foreground vegetation, for example, and address those trees on the left and right. Spend a bit of time working on the foliage, branches, giving a bit more volume to everything, a little bit of depth. Try to push those values, you know, back and forth, find a, a nice readable matrix for them. Make sure that nothing pops out and it's not weird, everything is coherent. Don't forget to add some color variation as well. So essentially, now we're building on top of what we have and we keep in mind that the composition sketch from the beginning is a nice guide to follow. Once I spent a bit of time on the foreground, I am moving and defining the castle as well. I don't want to be stuck in one place, I don't want to over detail the image in one spot and then keep it extremely loose in other, in other places, so you want to have a consistent look. That's why you're jumping, you can jump from plane to plane, adding details, adding information, make sure that everything is consistent. 
Now I'm thinking I first when it, when it came to the castle first I was thinking about the areas in the shadow like under the roofing and then also adding the key light from the right from the sun you're describing now the form so essentially working with cylinders in our case we want to make those edges softer to indicate that I'm trying to treat the hillside the same way, slowly sculpting sort of that overall area, giving some variation, indicating how the light affects the terrain. Thinking about light and shadow, there's also quite a bit of vegetation to manage as well, so we want to make all those things organic and give, give some volume to the background and connect it somehow, maybe throw out a little bit of fog and things like that, atmosphere perhaps. I'm also trying to add a little bit of story to the whole thing, right? Together with the characters in the foreground, we're adding some pathways on this hill. We're trying to make it a little bit more interesting so that there is some sort of logic behind all of this, you know, all this scene. And uh, we will be adjusting from now on, we'll be working on detailing some things and try not to ruin what we already have. We'll be adjusting the values, pushing and pulling, uh, for example, the background, making sure that it's, uh, it, it all makes sense, that it creates a nice atmosphere, making sure that there is a night, enough light on our you know, walls of the, of the castle. We want to describe it properly. We also will look at the roof and try to add some color variation over there as well. And overall, I'm keeping things loose because this is a sketch and the goal is to create a, you know, a very nice sort of like painterly looking quick sketch. It took me roughly two hours. So that's why we're not dwelling into details. We're not describing everything super neat. We just want to create a nice impression, a nice first read that will sort of establish the mood the materials, the atmosphere, the lighting scenario, and the overall design. Alright, so we are at the final stages of this little image. I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time trying to detail, adding those people in the in the foreground, making sure that I'm sort of like uh, fixing some rough edges, maybe even add a little bit of edge variation, right? Mixing some softer and maybe harder edges. And overall, I will maybe perhaps adjust the color a little bit and you know that would be it i will call it a day so for now have a look at how i'm adding those couple of more details and making sure that it's not you know interrupting what we already have
Alright, so this is the final sketch. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, feel free to subscribe, drop a like, it helps a lot. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one coming soon.